Hey, Sir Banooms, I wanted to ask a question. How do you keep yourself motivated in streaming even though you you know that you're not having any improvements at all? Like your streaming career isn't growing or something like that. Kasui.tv It's easy. I just recently found out the purpose of my life. Right? I find the fire. That's the thing that you need in order to overcome any problems. In my opinion, it's easy. I don't know why, but I have this mindset. It's called law of attraction, right? There are a lot of distractions in this world we are living in, right? But you know, we can. there's something I learned in video games, right? There are different worlds, different channels, right? Maybe I, I see channels like state. You know, uh, like, for example, Philippines, right? Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. That's the channel. And the world I'm living in is you. Maybe me, I have my own world, right? I can dream of my own world. I can be whatever I want it to be. You got one point, right? You guys are following, right? It's easy. It's not even hard sell. That's, that's, there's a reason why it's called hard sell. It's hard to sell because you don't believe in what you sell. That's why it's called hard sell and sell out, right? People will always judge you. People will get always envy at you. It's normal. If someone gets envy at you because, you know, it's simply because you're doing the right thing that he can do, right? I wanted to feel, I wanted to share my, my energy for everyone in this world who's watching right now. You know, maybe in my, my Facebook Live, maybe in any platform, this can go everywhere, right? My purpose in life is doing what I love, which is helping people. And you did that for me. I did it to a lot of big streamers right now, right? The only, maybe you only need one person to believe in you, right? Maybe you can start backtracking with your life. Starting when someone is teaching you when you're a kid, when you're a baby, your mother, right? Your mother is guiding you. Your father is guiding you who he wants you to be. My mother is guiding you because, you know, for safety nets and everything, for you to groom, to be groomed to a good person where you can find the best partner in life, right? A teacher. I, you know, I always wanted to be a professor in school. Because I always have this dream and passion, right? But there are a lot of lessons in school that matters if you only try to absorb what they say. In every word the professors say. Because it always comes back to the original place, right? For example, scenario. You have a professor. Try to recall your professor in, this, in your lifetime right now, right? Professor, can you still remember his name? Okay, maybe now you got it, right? So, my professor was Sir Adrian back in high school. He used to teach, try to teach a lot in the class, you know, always going through the books, right? Because maybe there is something that's holding him back to become the best teacher in the world. Maybe because he's not the students, he's crazy, insane students, always goes around in high school, plays guitar during lectures, uh, talks with his teammate, uh, uh, class um, seatmate, you know, try to flirt with beautiful girls, you know, that's part of life. There's nothing wrong with it. But uh, what I am telling is, whatever you do, whatever you wanted to see, just try to feel it. Try to imagine the time that you wanted to see, right? Just to reflect on yourself. That's because that's what I did in my life. That's why I changed. I changed for the better. I wanted to be better. You know, I've been like a cocoon. I can have this metaphor like I was in, I like a cocoon, right? You know, like in the Pokemon, like pupa, pupa. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ragnarok, Ragnarok, pupa, pupa, okay? Okay, and like in Ragnarok, I, I was like in a pupa method. It's like on the PC, it's hibernate method. It, uh, then eventually, I realized that, hey, and I finally accepted, I, I am in the pu I'm, I'm in a pupa. 
I'm covered with a lot of shields. I am afraid to go out maybe because a lot of people are protecting me. It's a huge factor because they think you are not ready to go out and spread your wings. Right? Then just today I realized my wings are ready. And I always believe everyone who's watching this will have it too. You just need to decide, right? You got it ready, right? I, I, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know everyone. If if you are in this point, whatever language you have, right? If you finally understand what I am telling you to do and to explain, maybe it's not about the language. It's your heart that is listening right now. Maybe this is the only, th uh, these, are, these are the words you wanted to hear. This is the word, these are, these are the words you wanted to know, you're praying for, right? Maybe you, in your childhood, you prayed for a better life. I uh, mean, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to have a ball pen, right? Then suddenly your mother gave you ball pen. And in growing, in growing all these years. Now, in your high school, if you're a boy, I wanted the car, right? And because your father is rich, right? You live in um, this silver spoon, right? You get what I mean, right? In any language, yes? Okay, live silver spoon. So, you know, you always been spoon fed. Because maybe your father lives in a world where he was beaten by his father you know you know what i mean right like you like you wanted to be a father which i will always give everything that my child wants maybe that's one of the reason why there are rich kid brats but it's not for us to judge remember right it's not for us to judge because everyone can judge easily you know if they see someone online they will judge it but if they really care about that person, you will discover or you will try to research about her. Why is it like that? Why is her hair short? Why is her hair long? Right? Why is he, why is that guy have mustache? Why is Ray not Afro anymore? Why is Banoobs have hair? Right? You will try to research. Right? Because the only constant factor in life is change. That was one of my ex told me a few years ago. And I finally understood about it. Right? You get what I mean? Everything happens for a reason. Right? You just need to start of, you know, what, what's the famous line of Michael Jordan, Mr. Rayford? I don't know which one is. <laughs> no, no, no. <clears throat> Speaking of Michael Jordan, right? He's very, you know, legendary guy. Yeah. Living legend. What's his famous line by a, by a shoe brand <laughs> just do it just <laughs> do yeah, that, it bro, that Nike <laughs> yeah. just do it man just fucking do it in every words in any words in any language just do it you just need to decide where to start right we are living in this pandemic so what now are we gonna stop? Are we? Are is this pandemic gonna stop us? It is just a small problem if you have the right mindset. It's a pandemic, means it's global, right? But why is other countries like Singapore being normal right now, living normally right now, right? Vietnam, Thailand. Why is Philippines not moving? Maybe it's time. It's a wake up call for our leader, our president to become the president and not to be called as mayor of the Philippines in Davao. Maybe he needs to be called as a president of the Philippines, right? Maybe what is stopping him is, you know, people who judge him, he gets affected by people who judge him and, you know, what he do because of his health, right? Something like that, you know? Because, you know, because I think it's a wake-up call, right? I know in every way, in every country you live, right? If you live in other countries that are not really famous, it's time for us to step up, right? 
wherever you are if you saw this video if you, you guys share this video it affected you but if you're going to share this video right now maybe you're concerned with others people who are you know experiencing depressions in life right so i wanted to share about my experience about depression right i've been depressed for i can't count how many right you know i've been diagnosed as bipolar disorder back in 2009 i'm not ashamed of it right because at first i was ashamed because my others may call my or judge you uh, like a baliw or insane right but when i was inside that rehabilitation center it was like a pbb pinoy big brother house it's like an isolated room or house where i meet amazing people right and i'm proud to say i led them all to be better right i, I saw a lot of celebrities there I saw a lot of um, like super celebrities, right? Like super celebrities in the Philippines, very famous ones, relatives and everything. Very influential, super rich people, right? I saw them all in Makati, uh, Makati Med. And the funny thing is, that time I was diagnosed, I don't have any money to pay. But there is my mother who's from the US went to the Philippines when he found out about me. Then I don't know what he did or she did. I mean, well, I don't know what she did, but I don't know how we are able to pay her. What? Maybe uh, after this, I'm going to pay her. You know, you know, there are a lot of things in this life that we are missing out. Maybe we are distracted, right? But one one important factor is focus, right? You need to focus. Focus on your goal. That's why I am telling you to write those one, two, three, four, five, then work around it. Right? This planning was always been like a normal one. Even your teacher is telling it, but you don't even care at all. Right? Maybe it's time for you to finally understand why is why is are the top five things you need to do. Right? Because maybe you finally understand now because you are in a rough situation right it's time for you to use it it's this basic metaphor like if you're very problematic then you look up hey i blame god because god puts me in situation no that's not it right god is just here to guide you right maybe this is a message from god right like hey motivate yourself man come on right it's it's basic problems are basic and i really believe everyone in this world you know they can do it right the names you just need you... to do it right everyone needs to do it right it's super basic well, look, words but damn yeah. very powerful well, look and at the end of the day i mean you know yes because you know obviously this is this is casual talk this is Benoob's talking about his yeah, life this is everything very casual. this is but you know when, when you're talking about what you want to do specific to streaming uh, a few of the things that Benoob's called out just about life are, are really important to this like one thing he is being authentic don't you know nobody can dare say that what like Benoob's just shared was not authentic like so we'll keep coming back to that we'll keep nailing that home authentic 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 now you know i saw some things while Benoob's is going on about uh, you know, how do, how do I get out of my chat? You know, sorry, how do I get out of limited reach that I have? What do I do if my equipment isn't great? What do I do? All these things. Look, you know, one of the things about streaming that I think a lot of people uh, should understand right away is almost everyone worked really hard to get where they where they are. There are very few people who just had an, an amazing amount of talent and were just natural at streaming. There's nothing natural about this. You've got to work at it. And I just actually was Googling as well while uh, Badoobs was talking, and it was Malcolm Gladwell that, that spoke about how many hours it takes to master something. And I said 2,000. It's actually 10,000 hours. 10,000 hours of something, and you've mastered it. If you now, ask me, Ray, right now, if yeah. you ask me, two seconds. Basically. Two seconds? Yeah. You just master it? Yes, because I believe it, <laughs> right? Yes. I believe I well, can. Look. You, you to get to master so so to be able to do it you just do it 
I mean, that's one of the things that you were talking about, which is how do you get started in streaming? How do you grow a stream? How do you keep, the, you just do it. I mean, look, uh, you know, at the beginning, you're going to look at the camera and it's going to feel weird. Later, it's going to feel natural and that's going to be weird. Then you're going to start reading comments and you're actually going to start, you know, replying to it. That's going to feel weird. Everything about this is going to feel weird at the start and you just have to keep working at it. Now, as far as things like literally your setups and things like that, like, guys, honestly, if you want to become like Dr. Disrespect or something or even like Okosi, more local, like, yeah, you're going to need to improve your equipment. You're going to need to. But you start with whatever you have. And I mean, the number of content creators who have gotten to the medium level of creation with just, you know, their phone camera and, you know, whatever computer they had at a, at a PC cafe or whatever else, they can get to a level where they have following. They can get to a level where the community is starting to actually feed your passion. They'll make it so that you can get better hardware, et cetera. So although hardware matters, you know, audio matters, video matters, quality of game matters, all this stuff matters. Don't let it psych you up, it psych you out in the beginning. Start with what you have. Just be yourself, be entertaining. And, you know, this community has a weird way of taking care of itself over time, especially for people who focus. Ignore the trolling, go with the trolling, you know, whatever is your style, and just be true to yourself. You'll be fine. Yep. That's what I mentioned earlier, right? When streaming, if there's a hater, and you actually try to focus on that comment of that hater then it will you know that hater will feel relieved because you noticed him right that's one of the things that you need to learn if you try to be if you try to change your focus on your goal with one who's trying to pull you down i don't care if it's thousands of people who's hating you right but it's if you're focused alam mo yung tapete sa kabayo to yung ganun focus focus right you know how they train horses they put this right so if you put that on your in your life in your mindset on your right path your life will change like just what happened to mine happened to ray happened to everyone who are finally listening here and gets to gets the attention to listen whatever platform where it is facebook instagram twitter you know ig uh youtube any platform right and everywhere you see this video focus that's it so ray um, I wanted to ask you more about because we already shared about the live stream basic factors that they need to uh, to achieve, right? So in terms of being a content creator, how can Yup that GG, your startup company as a CEO, and I'm part of it, right? Because you are my general right now. How can you help us content creators, you know, to be able to grow? On this in, in this industry that we love the most right can you share us about it yeah well i mean again where we'll start is how you present yourself to the world and that's the profile that's one of the things that we're refining over the next year to make sure that you guys don't have to think about it you just sign up for the account you add your social media accounts and we make it so that you look exactly how you need to for anybody who's looking to collaborate with you and collaborate with you as in make content with you, collaborate with you as in actually do a brand exercise with you, advertise with you, you know, reach your audience. So that's the first step. Then after the profile where we make sure that you're presenting yourself correctly to make more money, get more opportunities, we'll start developing even more tools to make your life easier. So for instance, we have a tool that allows you to very easily manage campaigns that you have been hired for. That's already in our offering. It makes it very easy for brands to hire you and for you to show your work as you were as if you were in school again. Show your work, get paid very easily. That's what we're aiming at. Now, one of the things that we're now working on is how do we help you grow your audience? Because 
we understand that um, money is, of course, a big driver for everyone. Like everyone wants money. We all want money. I want money. Benudes wants money. Everybody wants money. But we also need to make sure that besides the professionalism of your profile, how you're showing yourself to the business world, we'll also figure out ways to grow your audience organically. How can we help you link up with other creators? How can we help you grow your personal brand? get feedback with ratings and reviews, which we're not ready for yet. I don't think brands are ready to give you real ratings and reviews yet. I'm not sure the creative universe is quite ready to receive uh, real ratings and reviews, but that's what we're gonna be working on as well. What we want to see and we is a very informed community. We wanna see people who know what they're being asked to do, know how they can make more money, know how they can grow their audience bigger, be more famous, and then make choices. If you want to be shock, if you want to be, if you're aggressive, if, if your only style is cursing and doing whatever, cool. Well, let's see how we can allow you to craft your authentic self and still get opportunity. If you're super clean, you know, like Disney, squeaky clean, like all the way clean, Mickey Mouse clean, then we want to make sure that brands know that you are safe that you're somebody that they can invest in, that they don't have to worry about you. So those are the things that yep.gg is doing and what we'll develop over time. But it starts all with you guys on the profile. Actually, Ray, huh? let me, let me yeah. pause you in a bit. So uh, I'm sure other content creators already experience, uh, there are companies who's trying to approach them, but it turned out it was a scam, right? Yep. Like, like, like this, uh, Shami or scammy company trying to approach you for something, right? Because here in Yup.gg, right, we are we we put the the, the brands inside Yup.gg are verified, right? Yep. We verify it on our own networks. So meaning, if you are part, if your brand's name is inside Yup.gg, it is verified, because you know as a I'm, I will I will now talk as a content creator perspective. I get a lot of fucking huge offers from different different companies, but I don't. I have these trust issues already, right? So, it, but like if you're keeping an attention of what I mentioned earlier, right? Like, if you don't believe on what you do, you will not succeed. You first need to believe, man. You need to believe on what you are selling. In Yap that GG. We are now enabling you as a content creator. Once you join our platform and, uh, and register, you can create your own profile. You know, like what I did, I put all the games I put in, you know, because I'm pretty sure in this in, in this generation, whatever you're super professional in every type of world in this in this universe, huh, there are people who can relate to you. Like, uh, for example, uh, Ragnarok. Right, Ragnarok PC, one of our investors who believed in us back in the in the, a few months ago was Kickstart, and the one leading is Minet, the for the the former head for Level Up Games. Can you imagine, right? So here in in Yap the GG, you create your own profile, the profile that you wanted to be a content creator. You you. You try to visualize everything. Imagine you're just writing on LinkedIn, right? But the, the ones you will write there is the ones that your gaming experience, because we, we're going on this vision that the gaming and esports will be professionalized, right? We have that goal and we're going to claim it. It will be bigger than the, going on the mainstream waves right now, right? So right now, if you're seeing it, games gaming oh gaming is not bad right because you can you, based on what i you know experience right kickstart our investor a gamer the ones who's handling pc ragnarok pc level up games can you imagine so i hope you got you have this you know the fire that i'm bringing you yep that Jiju gives you an opportunity to write all those stuff that you experience maybe the games you played like i played silk road right that you you put it you put the dates put the agents maybe the people you played in different uh timeline right like the people you play during the counter-strike days you can find it on facebook maybe you can find it on yup.gg because you can match all the games you played during that day that, that timeline this will be a global thing 
And we are, I think, more than two years in the making on this startup, right? We put all our efforts in here. We tried a lot of stuff. Me being a content creator, this is a case study for this company because I wanted to feel and experience what a content creator looks like and what a content creator need. You get my point? Right? Being a content creator, I started it without even thinking of, you know, selling myself. Right? Just being authentic. I just streamed because, uh, you know, uh, because there's no replay in League of Legends back in the days I was playing League of Legends. I streamed because I wanted to get back the gamer days that it, I was being called as Banoobs. Right? The Banoobs who's spawning people on Dota 1. The Banoobs who's paying people on League of Legends. Right? The Banoobs, you know? I want to relieve that feeling. Right? That's what I streamed. Right? I wanted to prove something for myself. Uh, in this case company of this uh, Yap.gg. Being a content creator. Like, you know? Being me. Right? Everything is about you about being a streamer if you signed up to our company this is not a, even a hard sell because i believe in it i was a product of yap.gg you can imagine we haven't fully launched yet but this time we have our ceo here right of everyone of you in different in this world in this global world in this universe right we are making a change like what facebook did right they started two people who believes in the same passion and right now we are all using facebook right that's the that's what i'm telling you and it just takes uh, you know just a snap you just need to believe and now once we fully launched yap.gg right we will be the category type of linkedin for gamers right marketplace for game for gamers and you, for example, you're looking for your buddy from your different game, where, you know, you only know his IGN. You just put it too, right? We haven't fully launched yet. I'm just clearing this up, right? We haven't fully launched yet, but when, when once we do, I'm pretty sure you guys will not be disappointed, right? This is our heart on the gaming because now maybe you're a content creator maybe you're a super big content creator but what happens if you don't have contracts anymore right what happens you're super rich now right you are super rich you're living a life right you're just throwing money i experienced it too i'm earning millions a month and just throwing it spending on different games because this is part of my investment for myself case study right Maybe you're earning millions right now, spending so many money, you forget about some, some of some of your friends and the one who inspires you, right? But it always came to a point that you will reflect. Maybe if you lost all those contracts, then you will realize, hey, where will I get the money that I have now? Right? But here in Yabla Gigi, we will help you know how to monetize yourself we will help you how to build yourself as a content creator professionally right and even as a brand maybe you're interested you have a super huge budget you're a brand right now in the mainstream right you have a super budget to invest in gaming right you want to invest in gaming then what do you only need to do you need to sign up for yap.gg and we will assist you and make sure your money will be worth it coming from myself i was a marketing manager of so many brands i've been managing so many social media pages back in my days when i was working for net essentials it was a distributor for it brands right i got all those six experiences with my teacher marian gomez right the same teacher who taught the ceo of tier one now right we are born for this we felt that we are born for this we're born to make a change in this world in the people we love the community we love the gaming market our passion i can you know you know coming from the point that when i was playing back with my friends with mineski 
the vision of Roro who inspires me, Ronald Robbins, the CEO of Mineski in the gaming, right? We sometimes don't have money to eat because we're just living with all those things we love because we believe, but, but we don't care. We don't complain with because, you know, because we don't have something to eat, we don't complain. It just happened that the brother of Ronald Robbins, Rick Robbins, gave us some food, something like that, right? If we feel hungry, we don't complain because we're just living on the uh, Robbins family's roof just to play games because back then there are no boot camps and land parties in the Philippines, right? Ronald Robbins have this, you know, the vision. We set up a boot camp back in super early days, 2008, 2009. Even though everyone in the business industry judged him, you know, because you're from a rich Chinese family. But he stood up for himself. That's why I'm proud of him. Look at how big Mineski International now. Right? It's international. And I'm part, I'm pretty proud that I am part of Mineski events team. I was the one who started alongside with him. But you know, in this life, all your circles, you need to grow, 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 grow. To be able to achieve your goals going back to the one two three four five goals you need to list list it that's how you aim for it right